Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few tips on what to do when you do not get any cells. It isn't everything. Now, this can be a really upsetting situation because you come with a prepared mindset and a motivated mindset that you're here to make so much money. And then there's a period where you're getting very few cells to no cells. And that's normal. Like, I want you to know that's normal and that you're not the only one. And most entrepreneurs go through, you know, slow periods. So here are just a few tips to help you and encourage you to make sure you stay consistent and you don't give up okay before we get started make sure you subscribe down below and if you haven't already subscribed but you enjoy entrepreneur content beauty content fashion content and leveling up content then you will definitely enjoy my channel and you should subscribe down below but without further ado we're gonna get straight into it number one understand that you're not the only one who goes through this every entrepreneur goes through slow periods some worse than others you could go through a period where you make no sales you could go through a period where you make less sales you could go through a period where you make no sales and people want refunds like you could go through such hard difficult periods when it comes to your business and it's okay it's normal but the point is you don't need to stay in that position you don't need to feel sorry for yourself and not do anything you need to get back up and think okay how can i you know do a discount or a sell promotion or something to just push more sales like that's how your mindset should be it really all does come down to your mindset and shifting your thought processes so that you can ensure you maximize on opportunities to sell so yeah just accept that it's part of the journey and this is not going to be forever and you are going to come back on top okay so the next tip is to analyze your sales so analyze where there are certain dips in your cell history so was there a dip or slowdown in cells during spring summer winter like where are those dips and try to see what you were doing during those times do you feel like there was a dip because you weren't marketing your brand do you feel like there was a dip because you tried to do a product launch and it was unsuccessful people didn't like the new product was there a dip maybe because I don't know your competitors had a big sell so customers were going to them instead of you like analyze the dip and understand what were you doing what what was happening during that period and that season for dips to go down remember as i said with my last point dips do happen slow sales do happen and that's normal but it's important for you to understand if there was something you could have done to avoid it learn from that and ensure you don't do it again number three amp up on marketing so if you haven't already create a consistent marketing schedule for you to post on social media platform hone in on email campaigns and you know send your customers who have signed up for your emails specific discount codes for them to use to encourage them to buy stuff from you you just kind of want to promote and reassure customers that you're still here you ain't go nowhere and you ready to take their money and give them good products and good services so um yeah just make sure you are marketing more than ever posting consistently and just using social media to its full capacity definitely consider running specific ads i feel like facebook ads are really good if you want to get sales because they use facebook pixels the facebook ads I, when I've tried them, most of the time I always end up getting at least a sale because they're very specific on who they target to view the ads. So you usually get sales from that. So definitely consider, you know, investing in ads as well to just push the sales back running. So number four, maybe consider introducing new products and a new product line. Maybe sometimes your brand might just be selling the same mundane things. So switch it up, introduce new products, get you know your audience thinking oh she's back with a twist something where it solves the problem in a market but provides that little originality at the same time so definitely sit down and brainstorm to think what products could I introduce to you? and to bring in new audiences as well and number five use this opportunity to work on your mindset during this time when you don't get as many sales it can be very discouraging and very 
upsetting knowing that people are not buying from you so my best advice would be to use this time to work on your mindset listen to a motivational audio books and more motivational videos motivational audios on youtube make sure that your mindset is not in a negative space this is something that i never did when i had slow cells and i wish i did because it would have helped me to keep on going and i never would have really had to be like oh there's no cells or just you know feel sorry for yourself and have the victim mentality so yeah books like think and grow rich atomic habits um i'm gonna definitely do a book recommendation for entrepreneurs soon but i want to read enough books before i do that um and audiobooks les brown love him um i've got the other guy i've got the other guy and i was listening to him like a week ago but yeah i'm gonna do videos all about that as well just to help with your mindset hey guys that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe down below and i'll see you guys very soon bye mm -hmm.